Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to a brand new challenge here on my channel. I'm super excited to finally be bringing this to you guys because I've had this idea in mind pretty much since I went to the Get famous event in London and I played Get Famous for the first time and I kind of came up with this character and I've been wanting to like explore her personality for a while now and I know you guys have definitely missed the challenges so I decided that I was gonna do my own twist on the gold digger challenge, but it's also kind of Black Widow-esque. I will definitely explain more, like the further we get into this part, but I kind of wanted to combine the two challenges, try to follow the rules as best as I could, but it's technically not the gold digger challenge because I'm not gonna be marrying only older Sims, I'm gonna be marrying only celebrities. We have Edith Jong, who is basically Vanessa's sister, but Vanessa doesn't want anyone to know that Edith is her sister. These guys have been kind of like estranged, I guess you could say, for a really long time. They just do not see eye to eye, but recently, Edith has set her sights upon Del Sol Valley and is now, unfortunately, living across the road from her little sister, which Vanessa isn't very happy about, I have to tell you guys. So yes, this is Edith. This is gonna be the main sim that we are playing as throughout this challenge. She obviously has the serial romantic aspiration because if we're taking from Black Widow and the Gold Digger challenge, obviously she wants to be a player pretty much. So this sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people and those interesting people can only be celebrities. I have actually changed one of her traits. I think the Black Widow is meant to have like snob, romantic and materialistic. Black Widow is meant to have three certain traits but this is a little bit different. So I gave her the self-absorbed trait that came with The Sims for Get Famous. I also gave her the romantic trait and she is still materialistic. So as I said, Edith has recently moved in across the road from Vanessa. This is Vanessa's house over here. As you can see, these two are not friends with one another. She actually really dislikes Vanessa and Vanessa dislikes her as well. They have never got on well together. Vanessa's just very down to earth whereas Edith, I don't know where she got her visions of grandeur from but she's always felt as if she's a little bit better than anybody else in her life. But I mean she's wound up living in the little rundown suburbs of Del Sol Valley, so she's not doing the best. <laughs> Which means that she has decided that she wants to become the Black Widow of celebrities. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna name this series. I think I am just gonna name it the Gold Digger Challenge, but like I said, she's not just gonna go after older men or women, depending on who she happens uh -huh. to be attracted to. She's gonna go after celebrities, which is why Del Sol is kind of the perfect place for her to live, because as we know, there's a fair few celebrities around. So there's no messing about. I think we should just get down to business and I reckon we should head out to the lounge to see which celebrities we can come across. I also want you guys to get involved. I want you to create some celebs that you want to see this little lady kill off in the future. Yes, she is gonna be killing off 10 Sims. That is the whole point of this challenge. She wants to make her riches by marrying and killing off 10 different 
celebrities. Like I said, I'm just really excited to see where her story takes her. I've been having like visions of her for the longest time in my head and I really hope she does live up to my expectations. Oh, is this the welcome wagon? Oh no, Vanessa's coming over. This is so awkward. I think we should leave before she even gets here. Like I am not comfortable talking to our sister. Oh God, she's definitely coming. Okay, I'm peacing out. I'm leaving you to it. I'm gonna head to Orchid and Go-Go and see who's currently there at the up and coming hotspot. Okay, here we go. We've made it to the lounge. Ooh, Kayla's actually currently over here. So let's go ask to take a picture of her. I really haven't decided whether I want her to only marry guys, only marry girls. Although Judith is a really high celebrity and she is a female. So I'm kind of like, mm, we might swing both ways if you catch my drift because I kind of want to romance Judith Ward. I'm not going to lie. Is that Judith? Please tell me that that is Judith Ward. No, I don't think it is. It's Octavia. Definitely wearing something funky on her head. <laughs> <laughs> she is wearing the celestial crown and I have no idea why. Oh my goodness, your hair. Those blue tips are popping, my friend. Let's go order ourselves a drink. Um, we're just gonna order our favorite drink. I'm excited to see what her favorite drink is. I'm assuming it's red nectar, but she's probably gonna surprise me and gonna get something completely different because my Sims never ever listen to what I actually want. Why do we have Vanessa's thing up here? That's a little bit weird. Ooh, as we're waiting on our drink, Dirk Dreamer is actually over here. I wanna go and try and ask him for a selfie. Oh. He didn't even give us our drink. I mean, we waited for it. <gasps> Dennis, why do you do that to me? He stole my simoleons and I don't even have that many. Oh my goodness. Oh, he doesn't want us to take. Oh man, this is awkward. Let's ask him for his autograph instead. Come on, Dirk. I just really want something from you. You're a proper celebrity. You're the second celebrity that we have come across. I mean, there is our sister, but we aren't going there. And we're also going to ask him for a hug. Okay, so we got his autograph, which is great. That means that he's actually accepting to talk to us, which is quite nice. I do want to attempt an introduction oh my word i've also decided that i kind of want her to be a five star celeb by the end of this series i don't know if we should get her into acting because i know she's gonna be killing off some sims so it's up to you guys do you want her to get into acting so that she can work on her celebrity level as well i mean judith has had three husbands like she is currently the Black Widow of Del Sol Valley. So I think it could be interesting for her to kind of live this like lifestyle where people just think like all these terrible accidents have happened to her significant others but it kind of keeps the interest around her and so people will like continue to see her films and she will actually gain fame quite easily, but that's up to you guys. Let me know if you think she should have a job as an actress. If not, then she can just try and woo people. But I do think it would be quite fun to have a job. I know you're not meant to. I know um, you're meant to. Oh, I actually have the violence mod in my game which is why there are police cars currently driving around yeah i know all your money is meant to come from like marrying and killing off your spouses but i kind of see her as wanting a career on top of that like she's really doing this to become a celebrity like she's going to date all these people to literally get some fame to her name 
<laughs> He's really not having any of this. He really doesn't want to introduce himself to us. Oh my goodness, this is so awkward. I mean, he is the first person we are literally talking to. Like, of course, this was going to turn out super awkwardly. We have zero stars. We have no fame maybe we should just full on just like stab him in the middle of the street <laughs> no we aren't gonna do that i do still have the extreme violence mod though so if you guys want me to keep that in and maybe like play around with it throughout this let's play then that could be a choice i mean usually challenges like this i do like the different deaths that the game gave us but i mean if you want me to keep the mod in and kind of explore that a little bit bit more than I very much can do so. Ooh, Judith's over here as well. Oh man, Holly Alto, she's only a B-lister, so she may talk to us, but I highly doubt it. These celebrities so far up themselves that no one will even talk to me. She's about to go chase the birds. Why? Why are you like this? You're meant to be really put together, you know, think the best of yourself. And yet here she is chasing pigeons. Oh, now she's trying to, now she's trying to talk up the paparazzi. Of course she's trying to talk up the paparazzi. She's trying to get her name out there. So she's like, ooh, if I become friends with the paparazzi, maybe one of them will start selling my pictures to some form of media, even though nobody knows who I am. See, this is the kind of direction I wanted to see. Taking your future into your own hands and grabbing Crafting your way to the top. I can appreciate a lady who graphs. I'm just still kind of salty that Dirk didn't pay any attention to me. <gasps> Baby Ariel! Hey girl! I've actually never seen her in my game before. I love how she just whips out her guitar, you know, as you do when you are the mega superstar that is Baby Ariel. Dirk has left the building, unfortunately, as has Judith Ward, so we cannot talk to either of them. And now I feel like we should just go over to Dirk's walk of fame and completely deface it because he was rude to me. So let's head on over here and let's go deface Dirk Dreamers. <laughs> We're already getting salty. This does not surprise me in the slightest. She's already like, I've been shunned and I don't appreciate it. I am Edith Jung. How dare anyone insult me? So therefore, I'm going to be petty as hell and deface his star on the Walk of Fame. <laughs> Here she goes. I wonder if she can get arrested for this now that I have cops in my game. Oh my goodness. I hope not. I hope we don't get taken off to jail in that freaking helicopter. Oh my word. Deface the celebrity tile. Oh my goodness. Yes. Get it. <gasps> and we acquired the mischief skill. She's like, take that. <laughs> <gasps> Dirk Dreamer, that's what you get for turning us down, man. She drew a poo on it. Oh my god. She literally just graffitied a stinky shit onto his tile. That is hilarious. Dominic, you complete and utter party pooper. How d Who do you think you are? Donald Trump trying to clean up his star? I cannot believe that that just happened. I finally got my revenge. And he goes and gets rid of it. Why is everyone just picking out their guitars, man? What's going on here? Did you just steal that off Baby Ariel? I feel like you did. She definitely just took ba Baby Ariel down and stole her guitar. That is so rude, dear. Who the heck do you think you are? All right, we're back in the bar. <gasps> Ooh, Thorn Bailey just walked in. We're going to attempt to ask him for a hug. Octavia is also here as well. 
Oh, he agreed to the hug. Why does that not surprise me? I mean, she is a very cute sim. Like, I'm definitely not surprised that Thorn was just like, yeah, of course I'll hug you. Like, you're an attractive girl. Why would I not do that? As she is currently trying to schmooze Thorn, I do actually want to come back to the point that I want you guys to get involved. I don't just want this to be Edith trying to get with the in game celebrities. So if you guys want to make a celebrity, probably like a higher level one, I mean, we can have like lower levels for the beginning of this challenge. It would kind of make sense to go for maybe like the two star, three star celebrities in the beginning whilst we're trying to get our own up. But then I'm thinking she probably has her sights set bigger than the B-listers of Del Sol Valley. So if you guys want to create like four and five star celebrities, you can leave them under the hashtag ES. G D. You can put it all in lowercase, that way I will be able to find your sims. And honestly, usually when I do these kind of things, it's the sims that have backstories with them. Like, obviously, if you guys don't want to come up with a backstory, that's absolutely fine. And I will still look at, like, everybody's sims. But backstories really do tend to catch my eye, especially when it's for a character that I've kind of introduced. I really like when you guys kind of intertwine their stories and give me a little bit more information about the sims. So I will say they always seem to catch my eye when they do have a story to go along with them just because it gives a little bit of realism but don't feel as if you need to add a backstory like I said I will be checking out everyone's that they enter onto the gallery under the hashtag ESGD all lowercase I will leave that hashtag in the description down below so you can just like copy and paste it into your sims description so that I can find it I'm definitely excited to see who you kind of come up with. She is making me laugh already. She is already a personality. I didn't want her to be exactly the same as Eden because we all know that no one could ever live up to Eden. Like she's way more about gaining the fame side of things than she really is about like just dating these people and dumping them, which I feel like Eden properly was. She like wants to be part uh, of high society. She wants a big mansion in the Del Sol Valley Hills. Oh my God, Vanessa, these two really don't like each other. We're gonna jeer her. She's just like this annoying older sister. Is Vanessa drunk? She looks like she's super... <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely drunk. She's super dazed, which usually means that she's uh, she's drank an awful lot. I'm sad that we haven't made one celebrity friend. Like that's exactly what I wanted for her. And yet, <gasps> wait, oh, okay. We have some people, we have a choice. I kind of want to get to know Thorn. I know it's going to be really difficult because he is probably this highest celebrity here. But like, I want to at least try. I mean, if we don't aim high, then really, what is the point? Oh, I thought he was stood out near trash bins, but he's not. He stood near like the newspaper things. Or maybe they are bins. No, I think they're like, do you know what old tiny like newspapers were in? I think that's what they are. I think we did get his autograph though. So we can definitely try and sell that. But he's not giving us another one come on just just please just get to know us i promise you won't be let down i will sleep with you if that's a promise you need me to make i can make that right now like at this very moment in time i can promise you that at one point down the line we will sleep together <laughs> Is this bad? Should I not be whoring myself out in the first part? Probably not. It's probably a bad idea, but I don't know if that's the type of person that Thorn is attracted to. So we may as well try whatever we can by any means necessary. We are going to get 10 celebrities to be the notches in our belt. 
Vanessa, can you leave me alone? Like, this is why we don't like you, okay? You're the annoying little sister that has to try and take over everything that we do. Well, guess what? We're gonna outshine you. We kind of have a choice of whether we want her to be a movie actress or if you guys want her to be kind of like the socialite and maybe start up her own YouTube channel. But I feel like YouTube channels have been done quite a lot, especially by YouTubers and SimTubers because obviously we're all YouTubers and therefore we're all kind of like on the same wavelength and we like playing with that detail of get famous. So mm, I really can't decide if I even want her to have a job. You know what, if we can't, get friendly with Thorn. I'm gonna attempt an introduction with Octavia instead because her husband is not having any of it. Please wave to me. Oh, she's not even fussed A either. All these celebrities hate me. This is so awkward. We are not getting off to a good start. Did she just steal our drink? I'm fairly sure she full on just like stole the drink that we took and then put it on the floor and then it disappeared. Or she threw it away. I am just flushing my money down the toilet. I started this part off with 278 simoleons and now we don't have any. Why have I been ordering so many drinks? Why did I think that coming to the bar was a good idea. Luckily, I can collect things until we get married to our first bachelor, so that's okay. We'll sell this, oh, for 18 simoleons. Yay! That really adds a lot of credit to my account. First part, and she's already drunk. <laughs> So guys, I think I'm gonna end this part here, but thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed this first part of what I am going to be calling the Gold Digger Challenge, but technically it's not the official Gold Digger Challenge, but I will leave the link to both the Black Widow and the Gold Digger Challenge because this was inspired by both of them, but it's more kind of like an original twist on it. It was a lot to take in. First parts are always like this. I feel like I have to like over explain myself to get the situation out there and like why I wanted to do this series. But I promise you, second part, we are going to knuckle down and I am gonna try and catch a celebrity. I think we're gonna try and go for Dirk Dreamer first off. One, because he's a four star celebrity and two, because he's not actually married, which definitely makes our lives a lot easier because if we got along with Thorn in the second part, then, you know, Octavia, she'd just stick around, she'd be asking questions and honestly, nobody wants to deal with a divorcee. So I think we're gonna focus on Dirk as our first spouse. Fingers crossed we can capture him in the next part, but let me know what you think of this challenge, what you think of Edith. I really do think she is gonna be a very interesting character and has a lot of different sides to her, which I cannot wait to uncover alongside you guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Give this part a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will speak to you all in the next episode. Bye, guys!